It is not just Twitter and Facebook cracking down on President Trump. In the wake of the Capitol riots, Amazon has forced Parler offline. Parler is an alternative social media platform popular among conservatives and far right extremists. And tonight, Parler and the president's allies are firing back. President Trump is still banned on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat over fears he would incite more violence. And now, a serious setback for a different site that's become his new online megaphone. We're having a lot of trouble because every vendor we talk to, you know, says they won't work with us because if Apple doesn't approve and Google doesn't approve, you know, they won't. That's the head of Parler, a mostly unmoderated Twitter alternative for conservatives that's become popular among far-right extremists. It's been pulled from Apple and Google's app stores, and Amazon dropped the company from its web hosting service, a move that could potentially put it out of business. In a letter to Parler, Amazon cites disturbing examples of content that it says, quote, clearly encourage and incite violence. One post says, we need to systematically start assassinating liberal leaders. Another shows a picture of people huddled in the Capitol with the caption, violence works, make them afraid. And this seems to me uh, like an excuse to just basically eliminate free speech at a convenient time, you know, for them. Allies of the president are angry at the tech companies. Even if you don't like Donald Trump, that should be concerning that they have that power. Other high-profile Republicans are upset about losing followers after Twitter cracked down on accounts that spread QAnon conspiracy theories. But after that violent attack on the Capitol, some believe less tolerance from big tech is long overdue. Here we had a, a coup attempt on the capital of the United States, and, and some of the tools that these companies provide were used to do this. And so, therefore, they decided they didn't want to be in the terrorism business. It was a great, good idea. And that site we told you about, Parler, is now suing Amazon, claiming that they shut the shutdown here, politically motivated, they say, and designed to reduce competition with Twitter.